Right, got a golf question here. Now, I can absolutely appreciate that this is a sort of thing. Some people will look at and think, oh, but I don't know anything about golf. That's not the point of the question. That's how I would have looked at it, because I don't know anything about golf. But we're given everything that we need in the description. So a nine-hole golf course, you can see there we've got nine holes. He's introducing an app to replace paper shortcuts. The total score is the number of times the player hits the ball to complete all nine holes. So the total score down there. Below is an example of a paper scorecard. So you're totaling up all these scores that they put in for each round. Complete an analysis. So the process is adding up the scores. Output would be the total scores. Input, we need the score for each hole is going in. And also the name and the date. So don't forget those ones. The following user interface is designed. So we've got the kind of logo up top. We've got the name, uh, previous hole. It says enter a zero if you did not finish. But there is no zero. So that's one of the things that's wrong with us. There is no zero button. And it says click submit. No, there is no submit. So there you go. Two easy things that are wrong with that. Each hole has a target score known as a par value. If the score entered is three or more above the par value, so that's par plus three, so if it's greater than or equal to par plus three, that hole, it's adjusted to the par value plus two, shown below for hole three and six. So for hole three, um, they took nine shots to get it. The par was four, so therefore it becomes four plus two. For this one, um, they took six shots, should have taken three, so instead it gets turned to uh, the par plus two, so you get three plus two. And I have to admit, when I was looking at this, this was a bit of the question that confused me the most, what the logic is, because I don't know anything about golf. So part of this, the code for the app is shown below, so we're looping nine times, we're getting par from the keyboard and getting score. And then calculate the final score. So this is the bit that's doing the... i.e. add to f... It's at least par plus three. Using a programming language, write code for line 13. Now, I think this is a bit confusing because it's not 14 as well. 14 just says update total score, but we're not asked to do that one. We're just asked to do 13. So, actually a relatively straightforward bit of code. So, if the score is greater than or equal to par plus three, I put brackets to make it clear there. You wouldn't actually need the brackets. I just thought it makes it a little bit more readable. Then set the par to par plus two. So that's what's going on here. If it's so they've nine, it should have been par plus three was seven. So if it was if nine is greater than seven, then set it to four plus two. So set it to six. Right. I think the logic of that is a lot more confusing than the code does. I think that's kind of the point of the question. The final scores are stored within an app. Set the most suitable data structure. Um, so there are nine scores. Storing the final scores for each hole. So there are nine of these final scores for each hole. Therefore, it's an array and it's an integer because there's no decimal point. Well, I shouldn't really say no point there, I should say no decimal point. Right, last thing, um, let's get this 
image of a flag and it's a bitmap graphic so remember the idea is a bitmap is split up and we're storing all the pixels individually instead of showing whole shapes so it's got the pixels each pixel so the important point is here it's pixels plural you get more than one pixel in it and they're stored as binary number and the binary number is the colour So if you said each pixel stored as a binary number, that's going to get you both points.